hello hello everybody hello hello kobe thank you so much for lurking i'm not sure if you're still here but thank you i'm out of breath because <laughs> i just had to run across the apartment please let me know if the music versus voice is okay you guys um it's really loud in my ear <laughs> onion <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. I was like, oh my God, I don't have any chapstick. I had like 40 seconds left. I ran across the apartment. Hello, hello, kitchen. Thank you so much for your sub. On that note, we do have an announcement to make. Um, Lucas, fallen morning. Hello. I love you. Thank you for being here. Avery, thank you for being here for a bit. Elvarsi. Um, Keldara, I'm so excited for the stream. I'm so glad you're excited. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Happy 2024. Welcome in. The music is maybe a touch loud. Okay, I noticed it was like turned all the way up when I started stream, which was kind of weird. Oh, I know what's wrong is I usually have my Spotify. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have to figure that out. I knew there'd be boo-boos. Give me one second, y'all. Let me turn down the music. All right, so I had a feeling that that would happen. So I have an idea on how to, oh, are you sure you want to log out? No, that's not what I want. What I want to do is this. Nope, it's not that. What is it? Oh, it's this one. This is what I want. Ta -ta. One second, friends. We're just going to fix the duplicate alert. All right, so hopefully that should work. Um, Kaldara, thank you so much for gifting 12-month gift subscription. Oh, thank you so much. Just a little loud. How is it now? Is everything all good? I realized I had a little chat in the message. Let me know. Thank you, I'm glad that it's better. How is it going, everybody? How is everybody's 2024? Has uh, it been treating you well? Are you drinking lots of water? Are you taking care of yourself? <laughs> Lucas, thank you. I don't know why both subscriptions or both uh, thingies are showing up here, but I'm going to see if I can fix it later. Let me just see here. It's funny because I tested this and it didn't duplicate, but the beginning of the stream, because it is the first stream of 2024 and after some adjustments is going to be a little, a little, funky. a little funky. Yeah. So how do I follow alerts? Okay. So disabled. So I just have to disable them on my stream labs and then we should be good because certain ones are available. Like if you're streaming, um, you have to pick which place you're using your alert box from. But unfortunately, my alert box that I favor doesn't have um, my pledges, my Patreon pledges, which makes me big sad. So I have to use both Twitch alerts and Streamlabs alerts, which is wild. So I'm just fixing this up. Thank you for tolerating me. <laughs> Let's see. Pledges are good and we don't do merch and all that other stuff. Okay, let me just make sure it's all disabled. We've got raids disabled through Streamlabs. We've got bits disabled. We've got subbies disabled and we've got follows disabled. So we should be good from here on out. So wish me luck. I heard another being. I, yes, there is a bee in the room right now with us. Hello. <laughs> he is off work today, Quinstanley, on my first stream back. Um, Fallen, thank you so much for using your Prime sub to test those out. Hopefully it should be good now. Um, I think I've got it all figured out. Lucas says hello. Kitchen says being. Um, but yeah, everybody welcome in. Um, as you can see, there are some changes to the stream in appearance. Um, hopefully it is uh, appealing to the eye. You may also notice... <laughs> Thank you, babe. It is fixed. Also, we've just reached a hype train. Oh my goodness. Hello. What? Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Also, hi, new hype train emote, courtesy of um, Amiri, which is one of my fave peoples. They are very lovely. Um, so we're at a hype train. If you don't know what a hype train is, is if you sub, gift, or use bits, anything of monetary val value, it helps us reach different levels of the hype train. I can't remember what our max is. I think it might be five or something like that <laughs> um yeah the hype train's super cute first stream first time streaming new things always have to f fix things yes i knew it would happen 
I was like, Lucas, something's going to happen. Kitchen, thank you so much for the biddies. Also, um, I know that I have, you'll notice there's a bunch of new alerts, you guys. I did them. I did them over myself. I'm really proud of them. Some of them are a little funky, you'll notice. Because did you know gifts only have access to 250? 56 colors I think so if you do any like ombre sort of thing there's too many colors in it and it gets angry at you so that's a little fun fact for you um nothing bad those small things here or there I think that's the only thing like I've highly tested everything else now one thing that I haven't tested and I'm going to announce it first if you could hear me out before you use it you will note in channel points there is a lot of options now something of import to note is that I don't there is not yet the capability for you to use one of those options and then if someone else uses it for it to queue up. So if you select one of the new Baxter options, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. I believe it says it under the channel point. Um, but if someone else also uses another one right after you, theirs will overtake it. So think of it sort of as a challenge to see which Baxter gets to stay up. Um, Hopefully one day it'll be queuable, which I will prefer, but it is not yet. So at this time, it's uh, consider it battle of the fittest. You'll notice there's a lot of different options. And if anyone wants to use their channel points, we could test that out. Um, <laughs> I believe I didn't put them too, too expensive because I didn't want it to be too hard to do. I thought it would be a fun little thing. Um, so I've been working on a bunch of different versions of Baxter. So you're welcome to go and use it if you would like. You do not have to because this version is also very chill. This is our original Baxter gal. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I have other announcements as well, which is really, really important. Um, it is something called. Hold on. OK, so it's a it's a it's a thing for new subs. So how it's going to work is every month when you sub or you gift a sub, um, but it's only one per person. So if you haven't have subbed, but you've gifted a sub, then you get it. But if you've subbed and also gifted a sub, then your first sub only gets it. So basically what it is, is each month my subs get to suggest or request, I should say, a goose. And we are going to doodle a goose, which is what DAG, I know it's not what the actual Google version is. We're going to doodle a goose together. We're going to do it on usually Fridays, not this Friday. I thought we'd kind of stock up for next Friday. Each sub uh, gets to suggest one. You could suggest an... <laughs> Thank you so much, babe. As you can see, I'm now Goose. Uh, screw Baxter. We don't need her. Bye, Goose. Um, <laughs> don't worry, you're not actually... Your time... What? 10 minutes? What? I'll work on that kitchen. You're not timed out. Don't worry about it. It's supposed to be 10 seconds as a joke. Um, anyways, so... We are going to be doodling a goose, which is going to be so fun. Um, we, You can literally suggest like Elvis goose. You can do a goose where it's like, like, pff, I don't know, wearing like, uh, like a, like a clown outfit. Like you could do anything. Um, and I thought that that would be super fun. Okay. <laughs> How does this work? Please. Okay. I don't want the punishment to be that long. How do I remove it? Help me. Okay, I removed it. So hopefully you're no longer timed out kitchen. But if you are, because I'm figuring this out, um, please know that I love and appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I am stinky. This is accurate information. Um, you also notice there's a new emote for those of you who don't know anything about Baxter. Baxter is, um, well, she's dead. Uh, she's a walking dead person. She is sort of in a twilight stage between life and death, and thus she cannot smell. Uh, so she has a fear of being stinky. So you will note that there is an, also a new emote available, and it is lavender soap, which is what Baxter always has with her. She usually has two or three bars with her um, because she's a stinky girl, um, and she very much stresses about it. She also uses prestidigitation, press, presta, prestidigitation on a regular basis along with her friends because she doesn't know if you smell and she wants she wants to help you stay away from that embarrassment so on that note i'm gonna head over to my ipad so we can take note of everyone who has subbed so far and if you have a goose in mind if you have subbed today um because it starts today um please do let me know i will be going through the list of who has subbed today and we will be uh writing them down so we can do them oh you want a tama goose okay that sounds good i'll write that down for kitchens so let's head on over to the art screen which is this hello 
All right, so this is what we are going to be working on today. It is a Valentine's Day piece of Baxter because she was requested. I did a poll on Patreon, or nope, not Patreon, on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for the level one hype, you guys. You're very sweet to start the stream that way. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be working on today. A honeybee goose. Ooh. I will say, uh, Keltara, yours was gifted, but do you know what? Today, because I'm so happy that you're here, I am going to do it for you as well. So usually how it works is the person who gifts it or is the one who subbed is the one to do it. But because we're just getting started and I'm really happy you're here for the first day, I'm very, very thankful. We are going to give you one as well. So let me just back out here and I've got this screen. I see my reflectors looking a little funny. And we're just going to write these down for the next time that we do doodle a goose and I'm really excited <laughs> and kind of nervous so hopefully hopefully it'll be lots of fun and y'all will enjoy it let me find my favorite little brush here so first one we have kit kitchen I want to make sure obviously I know your spelling but Tama goose. So how it's going to work is at the end of each month, I'm going to post a picture of all the geese to my subs in the discord. So strictly in the discord um, is where I'll be posting it. So if you are a sub, be sure you're connected to the discord. Um, it's going to be a collage of all the geese. And then maybe depending on how this goes at the end of the year, I might make a poster of all of the geese from the 12 months, uh, which is wild. So we have kitchen, we have, babe, are you wanting a goose? Hmm? Are you wanting a goose? Hmm. Let me think about it. All right. Let me just write down all the names so we don't forget. We've got big, <laughs> big, green, 14. We've got fallen, morning, a honeybee goose. That's so cute. Heck yeah. Let me see. Alt, alt, what? I'm a mess today. The underscore Cal Jara Hive. All right. So, Lucas, if you are listening, did you have a goose that you wanted? Was there something that intrigued you? Do let me know. Um, I will have to get them from everybody. And you wanted a honeybee? I'm picturing, like, one of those... Um, I don't know if anybody plays The Sims, but like there's this like bee costume that like the toddlers or the, I think it's toddlers have, and it's really, really cute. Um, so I'll get the two from them. Am I missing anybody else today? I don't think so. It was just the four, I believe. Yeah. So it's just the four new subs today. I don't know why that keeps resetting. Hopefully that doesn't continue. Let me see if I can fix some settings maybe they're they're too high quality and it's upsetting it no i don't want that check for updates no preferences maybe connection ipad pro it is the ipad pro but it's having a rough time so we're going to do the recommended and press apply hopefully it doesn't change anything but hopefully that flickering will stop all right the toddlers deaf have it. Also, I'll have to think on the goosey. Sounds good. I know where I know where you I know where you sleep. We got this. <laughs> All right. I know where you live. I know where you live. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I sketched this out this morning. Um I have decided one of my things for 2024 is I want to be able to stream more of my process, not just the shading. I do think that gets probably kind of boring for you guys. Um, which is super fair. I know you guys like the shading, but I know there's also a good handful that like to see the beginning process. So because this is my first stream back, I wasn't quite ready to start from scratch, but I am ready to start from, um, I think, line art now. But I thought I would at least show you the time lapse of what I did this morning so you guys can see how we got to where we are now and then go from there. <laughs> I know where you sleep. I love all of it. Bless you, kitchen. Also, it's so nice to see you today. I'm so shocked you don't work. Oh my gosh, I'm so honored. Yes, love it all. I'm so glad. You're so skilled. It takes time. Also, Kitchen, wonderful artist, everybody. If you don't know Kitchen Cat, they do amazing OC work, and you should definitely give them some love. I don't remember if you prefer Twitch or, sorry, oh my god, Twitter or Instagram Kitchen.
so much. Um, quick thing about Baxter. Baxter's face claim is Emily Browning. So this year I thought I'd really want to do more stuff where it actually looks like how I imagine her. Um, I think that would be really, really cool. Cause like, I think it's, I think it's really neat to be able to try and actually get the face claim to be a parent. Um, so my goal is to do that in this piece. If you don't know who Emily Browning is, she's so cute. Please check her out. Uh, she's an actress and I just, I'm obsessed. She's so pretty. I'm just drinking my coffee. Wah! I'm definitely way more active on Instagram. I like to share other artists' love on Twitter. <gasps> Baxter does love Ebros. Can we just talk about how much I'm so sad he's not, like, alive um, right now? Because I'm really quite sad about it. Patty, thank you so much for resubscribing for 27 months. That's crazy. Nice to see you back here in stream. How are you doing? You uh, missed an announcement, Patty. So we are doing something called Doodle Goose. It's going to happen every Friday, excluding this Friday um, and whatever I say it's not. <laughs> but it's supposed to happen most Fridays where we doodle geese suggested by my subs. You get to pick a new, a new goose each month that you sub, and I'll be posting the collage of them at the end of the month in the Discord in the sub chat. So let me write down your at here. And if you have a type of goose you would like to see, you could suggest anything. You could suggest an elf. You could suggest a cowboy hat. You could suggest whatever you want. So let's see. P-A-T-H-R-I-S-A. -S so if you have a goose, do let me know. And uh, we will write it down. I do wish that maybe I had a pen and paper next to me so I don't have to keep like Ooh, astronaut goose. I love that. Um, so I don't have to keep opening up this. I think that's what I'll do in future is just get a like notepad next to me. So that way I don't have to keep hopping back and forth. I place my hat in because who knows when I'll be here next. I'm so glad. I am so happy. Did someone say goose? <gasps> Kiri, hello. You are here for the announcement. We are doing something called Doodle Goose. It's not happening today, but basically every single time somebody subs for the first time that month, they get to suggest a goose. And then on every Friday or every other Friday, haven't totally figured it out yet, we will be doodling a bunch of freaking geese. I'm really excited. It's going to be super fun. Oh, no. Brayden. <laughs> that is so mean. The word ban is for how long? Is it five minutes? I do believe. If I remember correctly, I do not have a... Uh, oh, I do have my stuff set up. So it's, this should work. Five minutes on Procreate No Cam. There we go. Five minutes. I cannot say that word. Um, yes, Kiri. We are doing doodle a long-necked <laughs> duck. That's what we're doing. Um, not today, but again, uh, if you sub, you get to suggest oh. a long neck duck. And uh, <laughs> and then we're going to draw them all on uh, some Friday, and I'll announce it. Baxter is baby. Thank you. Um, the evil laugh in the background. Yeah, he does that. He does that. Also, Kiri, it's so nice to see you in stream. I hope you're enjoying today. It's not super cold out, hey? I The only reason... Okay, so how I gauge when it's not too cold out is that um, Cobra Chicken, that's accurate... Um, <laughs> is, okay, so my, my, uh, what's it called? My fireplace, like, the snow comes down, and we have a pot in there. We don't use the fireplace, because, fun fact, I'm terrified of fire. And, uh, when I hear the trip, 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 trip into the pot, that's how I know the snow is melting. So, that's how I decide what type of temperature it is outside. That's it. That's how I do it. Um... Let me just see here. Did I miss anything? Doodle the white menace cobra chicken. Today's okay, I guess. I don't actually know. But I'm trusting my fireplace to tell me. <laughs> um, so I have to get a... a oh, I almost said it. A cobra chicken from Patty and I think just you, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll be sure to do it. And I know Patty on Discord. So I can always bug you if I don't get one from you in time. I also live with you. Uh, do you? I had no idea. That's wild. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. We are going to get started on the line work. 
So I hope you all enjoy that whole process. I've been doodling these like chibis. So it's a very different process. So I'm kind of excited to start working on, you know, not chibis. I think that'll be fun. I'm just opening up my reference photo of Emily Browning. Take away the I have. Just wait? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, is, what does that mean? Her Twitch Prime is up next week. Oh, I see. We need the warmth of the sun. Yes, we truly, truly do. I have to go now, but I will keep up Twitch so I can lurk. Thank you so much for hanging out and lurking. I really appreciate it, Kit. And also, thank you for the sub. And I hope to see you when we doodle goose. Oh, no. I said it. There's no bad thing that happens when that happens, which I will figure out one day. But I... Um, you just have disappointment from me. Yep, yeah, I'm just, it's okay. I won't say it again. Minus four next Tuesday? That's wild. Wild. For everybody who doesn't know, it was like minus 30 this week. Uh, 40. Minus 40 this week. It got to minus 45. <laughs> Rips open tablet case with teeth. It's time. Are you drawing, Kit? Oh, I'm excited. I feel like I forgot what I was talking about five seconds ago. But you know what? I'm just, I, I that sounds like me. I'm not shocked. One thing that I love about Baxter is because she's so tiny. <laughs> her head kind of looks big because of her hair. And I kind of love it. It's kind of like a cute little character trait, which is why I extra love kind of doing chibis of her. Because it really is just accurate. She's small, a small baby. Bye. Have a good haircut. Also, I have to fix my lurk, my lurk and my events. Um, I'll have to write that down. Let me just grab my pen. Da, da, da. To do. Fix lurk. And fix events. I knew there was something that I missed. Although I think I think the lurk one I wanted to keep ghosts. So ghosts are not completely gone from the stream. Baxter is still the um the mascot. We still will have the pulls. We have the card pulls. Um I think an ice cube just fell down my window. Yeah, it did. Um <laughs> so I think the lurk actually is correct, but I do have to fix the events because our our mods are no longer called Ghostly Guardians. That was too much of a mouthful. Um, so they are called Hey Mods. Um, and then we have our Hey Subbies and we have our Hey Gooseys and our Hey Babies. Um, that was plural, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I am doing some watercolor painting as you are. That's awesome. What kind of watercolor are you working on? If you don't mind me asking. I need to pull my coffee closer. I need constant sustenance. All right. Emily's um, like face is actually very, very hard to replicate. I've come to the conclusion. Um, it's very short. Her cheekbones are wildly adorable um like this and then like her face is actually quite square too so hopefully hopefully it comes across as her face claim that's the goal i'm really not impressed with reflector for these days it constantly glitches but it could also be my computer i wonder i'm looking at my csp open in the background while i'm also like final fantasy hey Lucas, as a request, um, you should totally art with me right now. You should absolutely art with me. Okay. I also want to make it look like she's smiling, not cringing. And I feel like I have to be careful because we're... We've got a fine line of that in between right now. I'm working on a Dragon Age botanical series. The one I'm working on right now is Elf Fruit. That's so awesome. I have not gotten the chance to play a lot of Dragon Age, um, but I did play it. Was it after my surgery, babe, that you set that up for me? Was I sick? I was sick or something. So B got Dragon Age set up on his computer for me for me to play. PlayStation. It was what? PlayStation. PlayStation. 
I'm blanking on words right now. I'm saying all the wrong things. I'm really not surprised. It it sounds like me. Also, if anybody is worried, I do still plan to use Cam probably on a less occasion for a little while, just till I'm feeling a bit better. Um, but I will still have Baxter available on this screen for you guys to play with your channel points um, as just like a little mascot. So that won't be going anywhere even when I'm using Cam. I do also have something to show you guys at some point, but we'll see if it happens today. I don't think it will. <laughs> I adore the Dragon Age series. I hear so many good things about it. I wish that I had more time to play games. I shall send Val to a safe zone and actually load up a file. Amazing. I really need to play through the Dia games. I played Origin and I think I own the other games, but I just never have played them. I played... Babe, I've played all of them. Which one did I play? What was I playing? You were playing Inquisition. Inquisition. <laughs> oh, her nose shape is, is not correct. Origin was so good, but they're all amazing. Which one is your favorite, if you had to pick? so much to do this week. So this is going to be the print for Patreon in February. You'll notice I didn't do a poll for the February theme on Patreon. That is because that month I am picking it as Valentine's. So Baxter here is going to be the print. It's going to be Valentine's. There's little there's little hearts on her jeans and, and her shirt and she's wearing a necklace and um, you'll notice that these, I was going to make roses but one of my favorite flowers is tulips, and I just feel like roses are so tacky. Like, I really don't, I'm not really a fan of roses, so I think I'm actually going to do tulips. Um, and then I'm going to kind of repurpose them as a sticker. So they're going to have a little band on them that has some little gold um, chains on them with some moons and stars, and I'm going to turn that um, picture, I'm going to take it separate and do the flowers as the sticker for February. So keep an eye out. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be making that all this week because I do need to order them ASAP. I do also need to ship out Patreon stuff. I need to finish off December and also do January. I am running behind as I was doing a bunch of stuff at the beginning of this month. Um, so yeah, a lot's going on. I've got so much to do. So if you are interested, um, if there's any Genshin fans here, I do have Le Layla as the Patreon print for this month. I'll just show you really quickly. So we've got this piece here is the Patreon fan art piece. It is the print. Um, so if you are interested, there is three different mail clubs. One is the sticker. Um, it's like a little chibi version of Layla. I will not be making more stickers of that version because I do prefer the lesser detailed chibis. I, for example, my VTuber. Nope, PNG tuber. Um, I much prefer that. Um, I don't think I still have this sticker file to show y'all. Um, so you'll just have to check out the Patreon to see, or I also have it in my Instagram stories. Why does Broker keep doing that? Um, but yeah, if there's any Genshin fans, be sure to join the Patreon this month. Um, I have for the print, I've got the Courier Goose, which is the mail club. And then I also have the Honkers tier, which is access to the NSFW content. And it comes with the, the mail as well. All right. Mm -hmm. 
gonna do this. Thank you. I'm always worried because I know it's only like one NSW, NS, oh my God, NSFW piece a month. So I'm always worried people aren't going to be super excited about it. Um, but I do my, I do my bestest. Uh, sometimes it's like full illustration. Sometimes it's just like not a full illustration, but ultimately I do at least one NSFW thing per month, which I do find really fun. And it gets me to practice my anatomy and my spicy stuff. I'd love to do more spicy commissions. So it's really good to to get that practice in. Okay. Just gonna get, I don't like super detailed teeth. Actually, some people, some people just like, they like the detailed teeth, but I actually prefer when it's just Maybe some gums. I keep, it must be nice outside because ice keeps falling down my window. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, she does. I'm actually drinking from this exact cup right now. Also, I don't know if this word is banned on Twitch, but here I go. So me and my friends call coffee um, <clears throat> a queef. Um, we always go, can I have a quiff? Uh, so anyways, there's a reason to this story. So <laughs> my lovely mod Fallen Morning, um, he has access to a Dropbox file that has a lot of my stream stuff in it. Um, cause he makes the events over on discord and I kind of forgot to tell him about this little story. So he went to go look at all the PNG pictures of Baxter and one of the folders was called Queef. And I woke up to, to Fallen's Discord message being like, I'm dying. Like, so anyways, that's a fun little story that me and my friends call coffees Queefs. Murdered by the Queef. Also, you'll notice it says just gave Baxter a strong, uh, a strong coffee to sniff. It's because she cannot ingest it she will puke it back up so she just orders like the blackest coffee so it's super scented and then um, does her best to try to smell it because it's super strong so there's a another little fun fact for you <laughs> i don't know why that started um i have a friend that always talks um a little silly like on purpose and they just become parts of our daily language it's pretty great, actually. Uh, he is the friend who plays Gully. For those of you who don't know, my Tuesday campaign that Baxter is the character in. Um, he plays a little chaos gobby, a little chaos goblin, who unfortunately, actually, one of his friends died last night. It was so sad. Baxter didn't even see his ghost, so I guess he didn't have any unfinished business, which was shocking. Because he definitely gave unfinished business, so he could return. What? Just, just what? Wait. Just wait? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I am so glad that emote is made by our lovely friend Starlight Peonies, who's not here right now, but if you type in exclamation point star, um, it's just a fun little, a little, uh, a little thing. But Starlight did make that wonderful emote. Um, I do believe <clears throat> this may not work. Um, but type exclamation point goose <laughs> into the chat for me and we'll see if it happens. We'll see if it works. We'll see. <laughs> I'm scared to look away. I'm going to miss it. <gasps> it didn't work. No. Why does it not work? I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It was like a fun little video thing that pops up. Um, but for some reason, the video doesn't doesn't actually video. And I have no idea why. So at least it honks, but it's supposed to actually show that um, that emote. But it's like really big on this screen. And that's why it honks twice because because it happens twice. So it at least honked at us. That's OK. I'm glad the honk is still there. Thank you uh, for testing that out. Let me see. I don't want this. I like I like the little little gappy. Okay. 
So Baxter actually has quite round lips, so does Emily Browning. So I just want to make sure that that comes across. Trying to get her to actually look like the Baxter in my head is so important to me. So hopefully this one works. Round. Round indeed. So yeah, this week um, specifically, I want to get this stuff done as well as some other Patreon stuff. But when I'm off stream, I'm going to be working on commissions, trying to power through as I am running a bit behind. I do also have to open up, unfortunately, emergency commissions this month. Um, you will note uh, if you have looked at my commissions that they've went down by about $100 this year to keep up with the climate of AI. So if you are interested in grabbing, now is definitely the time. Keep an eye out. I'll be posting about emergency comms this week. It will be um, the same as usual. As long as you pay up front, you get a 10% discount. And if you're a Patreon member, you get a total of a 30% discount. Um, the only difference is you do have to pay up front as it helps cover bills for the month. Because um, I, I don't have any because I've been on break. So that's on me, but I'm doing my bestest. I didn't realize that would be a word. What do you mean? Also for the draw a goose, it's doodle a goose, doodle a goose. Say it really fast because it's really fun. <laughs> you won't regret it. Would you like me to make a list for them in the dag area or in the moddy area for you? The mod area would be, oh, but actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it in the dag area. Also, you're welcome to change. I can do it after, but if you want to, you're welcome to change the doodle a goose area to actually say doodle a goose instead of dag. <laughs> Round as wound. That's wound. Oh, wound. I'm following now. Kobe, thank you for reminding that Baxter is baby. Um, I'm following what you're saying. You're wound. Wound? Why is my brain hurting? Trying to figure out, Kit, what you're trying to say. Baxter is baby. She's actually a very sad baby right now. She's doing her best. She's going through a lot right now. At the beginning of... Uh, session yesterday we had just finished a fight last session so at the beginning of session penner was like oh okay is everybody alive <laughs> baxter wanted to cry for those of you who don't know her boyfriend uh seemingly dead at the moment but his ghost is it's not gone because he has unfinished business it's her she's the unfinished business so there's no reason he would not show up that's her theory I swear I make more sense when I'm not typing. You make so much sense. Don't lie. I'm just, you know, me. <laughs> All right. I'm really excited about this print. I hope it's cute. It's supposed to have a plain background, but have like a heart shaped light hitting her. That's why there's that heart there. And I hope it, I hope it makes sense. Like when I do it, poor Baxter, I know. She's so sad. So he, she went down in a fight and almost died. Penner did die. And I think Ebros also died. Um, and as soon as Baxter was up, she tried scrying on Ebros and it, it immediately failed. So she, she doesn't know what that means, but she hasn't seen his ghost. And that, that is what she's banking on. We'll see. <laughs> Time to add some eyelashes. The best part, in my opinion. Of course, it will be cute. Thank you. I'm I'm just nervous because her face shape is definitely different than what I'm used to. But it's how Baxter's face is supposed to be. Try casting sending to your totally not. Well, see, she doesn't have access to it yet. Um, But um, Penner, I feel like someone maybe did try or maybe we didn't. But... I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but she's heckin' sad about it. For those of you who don't know, Ebros is a very hot red tiefling who is played by Elvarsi, who was in the chat a little bit earlier, but she's just off getting a haircut at the moment. We do love some eyelashes. Eyelashes are so much fun to draw on to. I love using the eyelash brush from Hey Mary Jean. If you don't know her, she just uh, came back to the interwebs and is drawing again. Um, so you should definitely go show her some love because that makes me very, very happy that she has come back. Um, as many of you know, I have a lot of her brushes um, and she's super sweet and uh, deserves to feel like people are happy to see her because they do. Her art is wonderful. 
I had a god come down and smack me for trying to cast sending to my totally not dead comrade. <gasps> well, see, we have a death god after us. So I'm kind of worried that if he did die, I don't, there's just, there's just a lot going on. But I'm worried that he won't be allowed to come back because, well, the death god's already pretty pissed that two of us are back. I fucking hate my eyelashes. They keep getting tangled. I mean, okay, but isn't that saying that your eyelashes are hella long and beautiful? Oh my god, the ice falling down the window is scaring the crap out of me. I'm really glad my PNG tuber is working out. I love her so much. She's so much better than the other one. And look, if you like the other one, that's totally fine. But I like this one way better. I love the simplified version. But also the old Baxter looks like she was staring into your soul and might eat you alive. I had a friend be like, oh, but I liked the old Baxter. And I said, I'm going to give him a cardboard cutout of the old one and set it next to his bed so she can stare at him all night long because it's really scary. <laughs> Like, it's kind of terrifying. Thank you so much, Kobe. Also, Kobe, welcome in. I know that we've talked before, but my memory is poopy. Are you an artist? Do you have something you love to do? Hello, your new PNG tuber is so adorable. Thank you so much, Sasha. Welcome in. Are you from Twitter? Are you who I was talking to on Twitter? I'm keeping an eye out. <laughs> This one is cute, but we will always love our Bug-Eye Baxter for being the first iteration. That's true. Bug-Eye Baxter is a very good way to, very good way to say it. It is. Oh, well, welcome, Ethan, Sasha. It's so nice to see you here on Twitch. I hope you're doing well. Everyone say hello to Sasha. They're a mutual of mine on Twitter. I'm trying to get better at communicating online. Um, I can be kind of poopy at it. Ever since I started having hand issues, I stopped being as active with, like, comments and stuff. And it's just... I'd rather just like take some Tylenol at this point because like I hate I hate not being communicative and like getting to know other people, especially with the world and the way it is now. Um, us artists have to stick together, you know. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Rip my reading ability. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure your eyes are very tired. What time is it where you are? It's okay. I mean, okay, actually, if we're getting into that, I actually have really bad hands right now. Not for the reason that I'd usually say. So I seem to have acquired some form of allergy to getting my nails done. Something that is used, even though there wasn't anything new used, seems to be upsetting my fingers. And all of my fingers, the fingertips are swollen right now, red, itchy, and I even have a blister under one fingernail. But do you know what? We're killing it. They're getting better. I can feel it. Today, they're mostly numb. Um, but the last few days have been itchy, you guys. It's not good. I'm allergic to my sister. That would be awkward. That would be really awkward. It's 6.48 a.m. Oh, my God. I do digital art, but not nearly as much as I should because work takes my spoons, but I love lurking and learning. Trust me when I say I understand when you say work takes your spoons. Um, I used to work a nine to five office job uh, as well as being an artist. So I feel it. Collect your spoons. Gain all the spoonage you need before arting. You can become allergic to any chemical. This is true. So I think what we're going to do is unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove my nails. Um this uh this next session I decided to keep them on and stick it out okay but don't judge me so I had a minor reaction last time I got my nails done but I was hoping it was a fluke because I've been getting my nails done for almost a year um and it went away okay it went away which is why I decided to stick this one out it's already getting better um <laughs> but it did go away um, and honestly, at this point, the vibration from removing my nails would hurt too much. So it doesn't really matter. It won't be happening. I can't remove them. So I will wait until my next appointment, which I think is right before Valentine's Day. Um, I'll have these removed and I'll just use re regular nail polish for a bit, I think. Um, but it makes me so sad because I love getting my nails done. My uh, my sister has taught herself. She's incredibly good at it. She's very cleanly. Um so I don't know what it is that I started having a reaction to. Okay, we can't forget that Baxter's eyebrows are chonky. It's so funny that I'm drawing the same girl that is in the bottom corner of the screen, and yet they look so different. <laughs> That's why I had to stop getting my nails done in salon. Yeah, what kind of reaction did you have, if you don't mind me asking? I'm so curious what's happening. Because again, I've been getting this done for like a year. So to suddenly start having this reaction... 
Um, we didn't use the one thing that I thought it was because she got a new cuticle oil last time. So I thought that's what it was, but we didn't use it this time and I still had the reaction. And it's only the tips of my fingers, so it can't be the lotion. <laughs> Thank you, Kobe. I used to actually draw my eyebrows like this, I think. And then... Yeah, I definitely had chunkier eyebrows, but I like doing them like this. And then when I fill them in, I use an airbrush. Why are you glitching? Why are you running? <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Welcome in. Um, but yeah, I like to use like an airbrush to fill them in and then use an eraser to kind of make it more natural looking. Me drawing on my eyebrows IRL. I actually draw on my eyebrows more than my characters in real life. Um, I just prefer to have like thinner shaped eyebrows because I'm blonde and my eyelashes are like blonde, blonde. How's everyone's day going? My day's going really well. I miss you too. Welcome in. It's so nice to see you at the stream. Are you working on any art today? Have you been taking a break? I saw you, I saw you say you were, were taking a break or something online. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Look at that face. All right, so. I ended up having an allergic reaction to the chemicals that never went away. I had burning sensation eventually started to look like chemical burns. Interesting. See, yeah, that does suck. So I wonder if it's a similar case with me then. What I just, what I find interesting is that, like, it does go away. Um, it does go away. So I don't, I don't know what to make of that. But it takes a while to go away. And it's like a pretty bad reaction when it's happening. This, this is worse than last time, though, because I didn't get any blisters last time. Messed up your nails. <gasps> oh, gosh, that makes me kind of nervous to remove my nails. <laughs> I'm a redhead, but my brows and lashes are so translucent blonde. Yes, I've heard that's actually the case a lot with redheads. My my eyebrows are, are quite blonde. Um, and my eyelashes are like almost like a dirty blonde color. Um, so yeah, I feel you. I just feel like my face looks so odd without any eyebrows filled in. I was, but starting to get back to it. I've been doing some car design stuff. Oh, that's right. For hobby. But lately I've been wanting to try my hand at designing book covers. So I'm working on the Sarah J. Miles books. That's so awesome. Oh, I'm excited to see. Please do keep us updated in the Discord. I'm a big fan of Akatar and Tog. And I will be reading Crescent City as soon as I'm finished rereading Tog. Because I'm reading it to Brayden. Um, and then we're going to read Crescent City together. Because I've never read it before. So it'll be nice to actually be able to, like, theorize with him since I haven't read it. Unlike Tog and Akatar, which I had read, like, three or four times before <laughs> reading it with him. I barely look like I have eyebrows. I feel like it's the blonde in us, you know? I'm also a redhead, so I usually wear f uh, false falsies? False? I've heard a lot of good things about Crescent City. I have heard that the beginning is very wordy, a lot of world building. But I think if B and I read it together, I'll be able to get through it. But also like be like, what do you think this means? <laughs> Which will be nice. I've never worn them before. Are you talking about like false falsies? I'm mainly sketching all right now. So everything's cohesive. That's a good idea. That's awesome. I'd love to do book covers or something one day. I think it'd be so cool. All right. We got our big old ears. Merge those. And the hair is on this. That's too round. Calm down. No, 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 no. 
I might need to see if my local library has these Akatar books. Lucas, yes, you do. Absolutely. You need to do it. They're amazing. But also, like, <laughs> prepare yourself. Also, I would literally die if you started reading them. Um, Elvarsi is reading them right now, actually. She's borrowing my physical books, um, which I'm only allowing because she lives close. Um, I'm very protective of my books these days. Uh, and I love hearing her her thoughts and opinions. For anyone who has read Akatar, here's a funny little thing for you. Um, Avery has told me a couple times now that Tamlin reminds her of Ebros. Now, no spoilers in the chat, but I'll let that just sit with you. <laughs> I'm trying to get through the second Crescent City book in time for the third, but it's so chunky. That is what I've heard. That is what I've heard. But I'm ready. I need a chunky book. I have not been a big fan of the books that I've been reading. <laughs> I'm so protective of my books. I feel like I miss messages. So if I miss something, please feel free to repeat it. I played around with uh, Court of Mist and Fury and it came out really pretty for a basic playing around. So we'll see if I keep it. Hell yeah. Sorry, one second. Just zoning while I draw this arm. this. Why do I feel like I'm totally blanking? Yeah, no, okay, that's fine. Just the wrist. I failed to draw the actual wrist. You should read The Cruel Prince. It's a light, fun read. I feel like I may have read it. Let me check my books right now. I do have to read um, usually digital books as my hands get quite sore, but sitting in the beanbag reading to be is a bit easier because I put it in my lap. Usually when I'm reading on my own, I'm like in bed or sitting up and holding, uh, holding it is really hard on my hand. Okay, so no, I had read um, like that blood and ash series i think a bit that's what i'm thinking of the throne of glass series me too me too i love throne of glass so so much um while i adore uh the main character in akatar and i relate to them as well because they're an artist there's something so well written about the character the main character in throne of glass that it's actually just Oh, it's so good. All right. So she is on the itty bitty titty committee, unlike our last OC that we were drawing. So she's we will not be doing. She's the president. <laughs> she is the president. Apologies, says B. <laughs> Stairs. I know, kitchen. I know. I know. I started doing DIY lash extensions this year, and they're so amazing. They're lighter than the strip lashes and last up to 14 days. Ooh, uh, that's awesome. I added a photo of the design in my art on Discord. I'm emotionally wrecked. Hold on. I'm catching up. I'm being so bad at this. Let me just see here. Your art. Let me see. Oh, wow. That looks so pretty. Oh, I would so buy that. That's so nice. I can't wait to see what else you do, Taylor. That's awesome. I'm never going to get over that you guys read books together. Too cute. We started it because of COVID. So we both had like three months off of work. So um, I started reading Throne of Glass to him. And I didn't think he was going to enjoy the process so much. Um, but he loves oh, it. Akatar. What did I say? Oh, Akatar. I started reading Akatar to him. Oh, why are you frozen? Stop it. Um and he loved it so much that he started saving, like, a bunch of, like, memes <laughs> to show me, which I loved. Um, so that was great. That was my favorite thing. We actually have a gigantic Charlie Bow water piece in our bedroom now. We just, we love them. I connected so much to the main character from Crescent City. Ooh. I don't know anything about it, so no spoilers. But I will say she is so pretty from the art that I've seen of Crescent City. Uh, focusing while I draw this hand. Wish me luck. 
I have no reference photo for this. I'm just winging it. I don't know how it's going to go. Here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to restart. We're going to sketch the knuckles. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, one, two. And then this one's a little bit shorter. One, two, and then we could probably overlap this one a bit. One, two. Okay. Oh my God, my fingertips are so numb, you guys. It's so bad. My hubby doesn't read ever, LOL. Maybe I'll try reading it to him. So what B and I do is he plays one of his games where he doesn't have to think too hard. Um, For him, he plays Path of Exile, which sounds like a thinking game, but he's played it since he was... How old are you, babe? I don't Sorry, know. Sorry, when you started, how old were you? I don't know. You were itty bitty. Itty bitty baby. I've been playing it since Alpha. Since what? Alpha. So like since before it came out. Don't be shy. You could say that louder. I don't know why you got quiet. Are no, you embarrassed? I'm just, no, I'm trying to think of how long it's been. It's been a long time. So he plays um, Forza. Yeah, like something where he can listen at the same time. And I remember when I first started reading, I was like, I was really anxious that I was kind of wasting my breath. So I'd constantly quiz him on what we just read. That bitch was listening for sure. <laughs> so. Uh, since 2016. 2016. Oh, that's not as long as I thought. Or no, no, because I got to play it in high school. Yeah, and you graduated in 15. No, 13. 13. So I probably 2010. Wow. I have something like 9,000 hours played. Disgusting. Listening to The Spice, I will say, B and I have been dating for 13 years, and reading The Spice was so awkward still. So fully expect that. Just laugh through the whole thing. It's very fun, actually. <laughs> it's fun in the sense that it's ridiculous. Gotta like that. Gotta like that. My hand, like, feels asleep right now. Hmm. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> One moment. Stretch and hydrate. Oh, stretch and hydrate. I shall. Thank you. Also, we have Caxter, who's uh, one of my favorites. Fun fact. I'm stretching right now, and I'm also hydrating. Thank you so much. You have a reference? How many pixels do I use for my canvas? This is a very good question. So I use um, 3605 by 4500 pixels with 350 DPI. This is specifically because it was the right size for Instagram. And now I use it for everything because every other size feels weird to me. Um, so yeah, that's what I draw in. Also, hello, welcome in Sliced Toast. Love your name. I'm just stretching for a moment as it has been requested. My arms are very sore. They're shaking as I stretch. But you know what? I'm doing my bestest. I'm doing my darndest. All right. Let's get back to it. This needs to be smaller. Like, calm down. <laughs> and then this, this, some, this something about that is not right. So I'm just going to play around with it with liquify. It's almost like they're too, they're too thin. I believe that's correct. Yes, thank you. That is the correct one, right? I know, uh, Fallen, you've been using the same canvas size. You have it under, what did you, what did you call it? Ricky? <laughs> Ricky, uh, Ricky canvas? <laughs> it's almost like the fingers are too long. <laughs> yeah. I literally only started doing it because Instagram sizing which I find hilarious. Good, no, I want to stay here. Let me erase some of this. Yeah, something doesn't look right here. 
Stay tuned. I think it's just the angle. And the fact that the ends of the fingers are so straight because we haven't added like the nail sections yet. Yeah, they're too round. I think that's what it is. The tips are too round. Hey, Liz -z 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 Lee, that's what you call the canvas. Beer back to coffee app, maybe grab a yogurt. Oh, a tub of yoga. Yes, that's right. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> my lovely friend Fallen is Australian. And the other day while we were on a call, I swear he said he had a tub of yoga and I was confused. It's a tub of yogurt though. Um, for those wondering. <laughs> we... Yeah, it's really cool to see the difference in things that we talk about. I can't remember what we were talking about, but Lucas had also said something that was like different from how we would have used a term or uh, a metaphor, maybe. Is that what it was? But I remember being very confused at first. The world is so cool. It's so big, so vast. Okay, that definitely has helped um, without the the weirdly rounded ends. Yes, nails. What program are you using? I use Procreate. I've used it for a very long time. I love Procreate. They're also a great company, so 100,000% recommend. Just making this more hand-like, you know? <laughs> All right. Who draws nails? Not me. Sometimes I'll do it in the sketch, and then sometimes I'll do it, like, just in the line art. It, like, completely depends on my mood that day. No specific reasoning. Something looks super weird though, so we're just gonna keep fixing it up until I'm happy with it. <laughs> I love this song, it's so good. I love this playlist. Like I've never been tired of it. I think I'm bothered that like <laughs> dancing in the light. I've drawn her like four times. One more isn't anything. Who are you drawing? One second. I'm just responding to a text message. <laughs> All right, get my reference photo back up. Oh, a blue a blue tiefling is it? Is it <clears throat> um is it um Jester? Is it is it is it is it Jester? Or maybe um maybe it's a it's another blue tiefling. 
maybe another one that we possibly know. <clears throat> another blue tiefling, maybe, perhaps. <clears throat> you know, just maybe someone blue. Who knows? It could be anybody. Him. <clears throat> Couldn't help myself just just showing off another version of the of the PNG tuber, a personal favorite of mine, because um, she has her little teethies in this one, which you know you don't get to see often, you know, and I just like it a lot. It's just a thing. <laughs> Are you leaving? Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye, love you. Oh. Hello, welcome in. Welcome back. You having a good quiff? <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> I've been working on this hand too long, y'all. I'm over it. You could be mine. I'll take care of you. Whoa, noisy. Is it a tasty one? That's good. When I get up, I'm going to shut the office door. This is not going to be visible. So hopefully that's fine. Hopefully that's fine. All right, so I'm going to draw this part because there might be, I don't I haven't decided if that bottom bit is lace or not or see-through. We'll see. Okay. I gotta go, but have a great rest of stream and have a great day, everyone. Thank you for stopping in, Kiri. Have a wonderful day. Make good choices. Stay warm. We have been live for just over an hour. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I am streaming for three hours today. Most days will probably be three hours unless I've got time. Honk! Don't forget! Exclamation point goose. You can make some honking noises. It's free. Heck yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. Bye, Carrie. Have a great day. Give the petos some petos. Yes, the petos some petos. One day we'll add some more fun little sound commands. If you think of any, do feel free to let me know. Okay, now I go. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you so much for stopping in, Kiri. I was nervous about stream today, so it's nice to see you. Connect. Ricky, I forget. Do you have a throne? Do you have the throne of glass hardcovers? I do. I even have two copies of the very last book because I also got my friend to send me one um, of the Charlie Bowwater um, cover, like the inside cover, and I actually have that um, up in my office. <laughs> So yeah, I have all the hardcovers of, I think, all of the books so far. I actually have all of the Crescent City books because Sarah J. Moss is my favorite author as well. I just haven't read them. You keep wanting me to record that thing and I keep forgetting. What thing? Oh, yes. That noise. What was it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Besides cards, what's Baxter's magical items that's named important? She doesn't have any. She doesn't have a single item that's magical except for her cards um literally let me pull up her her dnd beyond here no 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 characters baxter 
<clears throat> I'll read you her inventory. She does have a sending stone on her. It's not very exciting. It's not really hers. It's like the groups. Um, okay, so magical items. She has a pole of collapsing, a potion of healing, a potion of water breathing, and her tarot cards. <laughs> She's also got some frittata groceries and some small chunks of mystery mushrooms. The important items to her, she has lavender soap. Um, the cloak that you've seen her pictured in is a gift from her one of her best friends. His name is Kelrick. She also currently wears Ebros's cloak. She's not wearing her cloak. Um, you'll have to ask Avery for the reference for that. Um, she has perfume that she uses. Um, and... Uh, she also has the item she had on her when she woke up in her shallow grave, which was a singular slipper and um, just a basic white tunic top with a multicolored embroidered thread that says Baxter on the sleeve. Um, but that's it. She does not have a lot. <laughs> she's she's not killing it in the item department, let me tell you. The Charlie Bowater ones are lovely. Charlie Bowater is one of the best artists ever. I love the her so much. I wish that I saw more art of hers all the time, 24 seven. Um, absolutely love Charlie Bowater. So as soon as I saw that she had like an exclusive cover that was, I think at Barnes and Noble, which we don't have here. Um, I had uh, my beautiful friend uh, send me some. Would you do me a huge favor when you have time? Could you measure them for me so I can get the sizing for the books? I've been trying to look up measurements and I can't find them and I know you'll get what I need correctly. Hell yeah, I could definitely do that. I will not have time today, but send me a link on Discord and I won't open it until I'm ready to do it. Or not a link, but a message on Discord, okay? But again, I'm going to not respond until I have time to do it. That way the message stays up and I don't forget because that sounds like me. Charlie is ridiculously talented. Also, I'm going to drink some coffee now that Baxter's got some. I literally just re redrew my mug. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Um, but I just used my font instead, which was really fun. I'm going to draw some details on the actual shirt this time, because why not? I love playing around with how I draw when I'm doing personal stuff and not commissions. I love your Baxter avatar. It's super cute. Thank you. I love it too. I also have a bunch of new alerts, um, which hopefully y'all will see more of. I'm really proud of them. So thank you. Coffee is always good. That works perfect since I'm sketching anyways. Okay, awesome. I will try to remember today. I do have a measuring tape. Um, I'll probably have B do it because he's he's better at that stuff than me. I could probably ask him to do it next time he comes in here. <laughs> yes, special details for Valentine's. I'm so excited. I hope this, this turns out kind of how I'm picturing. I'm imagining this being very, very subtle, like almost like a seam. try and make it pretty symmetrical Ooh, ellie thank you so much for subscribing again welcome in i hope you had a good day at work also you get to select a goose <laughs> so please feel free to suggest a goose it could be an elvis goose it could be anything um on that note let's just hop on over to this next time i'll use a notepad but this time I'll, I'll use this so patty you have not selected a goose just yet so if there's a type of goose you would like to see please do tell let me just get this here and where are you m a y b e e l l i e e kitty goose totally counts we could do kitty goose
Elf goose. Oh, that's interesting. El oh, that's that's not how you spell elf. Goose. Perfect. Thank you. So the only one we're missing is uh, Brayden, but I I think I could probably get it from him. Oh, flower crown, Baxter. Thank you. What flower would she be? I always say cherry blossoms, but that's more from color. Um, I don't actually know what she would be. Maybe like a lily of the valley or like, um, I don't know. I feel like she would be like a, I don't know. I think there's flowers that represent like rebirth. Um, and I could absolutely see her being something like that. I've got Kingdom of Ash sketch and Assassin's Blade sketch that I'm excited for. I'm trying to figure out quotes and hidden things to add. So it's really for the book obsessed readers like me. Hell yeah. Absolutely. That sounds amazing. Ellie, how are you today? How was work? I hope you had a good day. We've got um, a bow up here. Oh, whoa, calm down. I imagine it's like a ribbon ribbon. And that's how her top ties on. Waiting for the doctor so I could sneak on. <gasps> I legit have not been home yet. Oh my gosh, Hill. Why? We message me. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to lurk and make something to eat. Yes, please make something good good to eat. Lots of protein and vitamins. That's a very good question. How's everybody doing? We're an hour and almost an hour and a half into stream. I'm doing good. I'm so excited about this piece. I want to get to color so, so bad. We're on to jeans. Oh no. Let me just look up my reference photo here. Where are you? Where's, oh yes, I sent it to be on Discord. Baxter is indeed baby. Best baby. Let me pull up this, these reference photos. The pants are like pink with red hearts and they're jean and they're so cute. I saw them all over Pinterest and I was like, yes, that'll be all, thank you. Another one, thank you. Rice noodles are the bomb. I had rice noodles for the first time today. I don't have I. Ha I'm sure I've had rice noodles. I feel like I've had rice noodles. <gasps> Love ya. Have a good time at the doctor. Hope all is well. All right. Let's draw some jeans. I don't get to draw jeans very often as someone who's usually doing fantasy artwork. Also, because Baxter's the mascot, I'm actually hoping to do a lot more art this year that's like not necessarily fantasy, just Baxter and like different outfits and stuff. I was going to do other OCs, but Baxter was selected in the poll. So that's why we're doing Bax today. <laughs> okay. Lots of details going to be done here. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good when we're when we're all finished.
Dun, dun, dun. Jeans are actually so fun. I love looking at how they're like designed and stuff. And I definitely don't want these lines being perfect. Okay. I don't think she'd have any pulling because they're kind of more baggy. So we can actually merge the shirt and the pants because they don't touch. I love the coffee one because it reminds me to drink my coffee before it gets cold. So thank you so much for uh, Kobe. Ooh. All right. It makes me hate me. Baby. All right, let's get the hair doodled out here. What's Baxter's favorite food or drink to sniff? Um, anything really, really strong. So, so far it's been coffee is her favorite thing to sniff. Like she'll order that at bars because it's strong. Um, I don't think alcohol would be like a nice smell. So I don't think she's ever even considered that. Um, I don't think she's figured out a favorite food yet. I think food makes her sad because I feel like food is something she really does feel like she's missing out on. She's not too stressed about the drinking as much. Um, she has lots of fun on her own, you know. But uh, I think food makes her a little, a little sad. So I don't think she's tried too much. Or that there's even been anything strong enough that she'd be able to smell. If you could think of something that would be in a fantasy game, though, let me know. And I'll have her try it. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't think I like the way that looks too much. I'm gonna redo it. Do it on a different layer so I can play around with it more. I want them to be like bubblier. Yeah, more like that. And because of the angle, I will just do that. What's a, does anybody else's D&D &D character have a favorite food or smell? It's something I didn't actually consider before we started. But once I realized that like, <laughs> that Baxter can't, like really can't take part in a lot. She can't eat or drink and stuff. Um, I started thinking of ways that would find her able to try to do something. I'm going to suggest Val's favorite thing. Fresh fruits. I don't think the smell would be strong enough. I feel like it'd have to be like garlic or onions. Like something super strong. And maybe not the best. Just, just strong. I like that when she's like encased by her hair. I think it's so cute. All right. I think we're actually ready for color already. We'll just, uh, we have her accessories and then we just want to doodle on as well. The, um, the, the tulips. The cheesecake it continue. I know. Uh, I saw somebody have cheesecake in. I can't remember. I was watching a show or something yesterday, and oh my gosh, big sad. Tulip stems are actually fairly thick. I don't want to front you. Maybe I should leave. Sega loves saffron and turmeric, so any foods that have them. But she will also stop at spice vendors a lot. Her favorite smell is ink and books. Oh, I love that. Oh, I never thought of doing uh, favorite smell. That's so cute. trying to think i feel like amarin's favorite smell would be like sandalwood <laughs> um probably sandalwood um and hmm try not to be too weird about it amarin amarin's a amarin's a character you know uh she's 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 something um i wonder what her favorite smells would be i feel like baxter's would be coffee simply because it's the easiest strong scent to find um but i feel like if she had a choice it would definitely be like ebros <laughs> the smell of ebros sad big sad 
My OC Zara loves all things chocolate, which is partly for the irony of it being considered an aphrodisiac and then being unable to feel emotion. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's so interesting. Is that a, is that like a heritage, like a race thing that they can't feel emotion or is it like, like a, like her upbringing? That's so interesting. Bye kitchen. Have a good day at work. It's okay. I'll be streaming about three to four days a week um, and maybe even extra. My goal is to stream a lot, but to also stream during my schedules. So stay tuned on that front. <laughs> this is the brush that I've been using, actually, this uh, inking brush. Boo with being called in. I agree with this statement, but it's okay. You have access to my VODs and also VODs get posted the following week. And I'll be streaming lots. Starlight, welcome in. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, on that note, um, exclamation point dag. We are doing a thing, Starlight, now. So the first sub of every month, um, you get to pick a goose. And then every Friday, not this Friday, starting next Friday, you we are going to doodle all the geese. We're going to spend a stream drawing geese if we've got uh, new subbies to draw geese for. And then at the end of each month, I'll be posting those geese in the Discord server under the Hey Subbies section. And then maybe at the end of the year, I will also offer a uh, like a poster print is what I'm thinking. Uh, for those as well, which I thought would be super fun. So if you have a goose you'd like su like to suggest, please do let me know. It's theorized that the reason they're unable to feel is tied to the spirits trapped in their head. <gasps> that is so intriguing. What spirits? Yes, this is our new announcement. It is the Dag or Doodle a Goose. I find it funny that Dag has um, other meanings. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy that. I hope it's a good time. Natasha, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. The goose is of the subs. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. Natasha, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Natasha. How is your stream today, Natasha? What were you working on? Um, and we were just talking about how, so once a month, every uh, new sub that you do, um, sorry, not every new sub, but each person gets to suggest a goose, uh, or so, not suggest, request a goose if they sub. If they uh, gift a sub, if they've already subbed, they don't. So it's one per person per month. Does that make sense? So you could suggest an Elvis goose, a goose with a cowboy hat. I can show you the list of what we got right now because I have to write down your name anyways. I'm going to do this like on uh, on paper next time because this is kind of hard to keep bringing up. But we've got Starlight. Let me see. How's your stream going? It's going really well. Thank you. It's the stream first stream of 2024. So we're having a good time. I love Shadow Hearts boobs resting on my head there. Um, so yeah, it's been really, really good. How is your stream? We're just working on um, a Valentine's Day piece uh, for my patrons next month. It'll be the print. Starlight, if you have a goose you'd like to suggest. So far we have Tama, Astronaut, Honeybee, Goo uh, Kitty, and Elf. There is new redeems, as you can see. <laughs> wow, we've got lots of new redeems. Uh, the only thing is they do uh, take over the current redeem, which is totally okay. It's kind of just like a battle. I wasn't paying complete attention. I turned back to just, I love Shadow Hearts boobs. Yeah, Flower Crown. Um, so Starlight, if you have a goose, do let me know. I will write it down, um, but I'm going to head back to that art piece unless you have something. Hello, Spiega. Seems you saw my animations. I did. Are you talking about the frog one? Because it was so good. You love the new Baxter? Thank you. I love the new Baxter too. I like it way more than the last Baxter. Why does my reflector keep doing like a black flash? <laughs> You'll think about it. Okay, let me know. We're not doing it this Friday. We're going to do it the next Friday just because this is the first week of doing it. So we're going to kind of stock up and have a big stream of just drawing geese is the goal. That is the hope. That is the dream. Is a, is, a, is, a, is a stream full of geese. 
Should be a good time. <laughs> Here, let's do this. And then maybe hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that should be okay. It's gotta be kind of chunky. These are like those lollipop earrings that you always see. I think they're so cute. I'm busy watching a horribly drawn D&D &D style defense game and the wizard in the party brought three dragons for one gold each and it backfired horribly. What? Since the new redeems override, are they on a semi cooldown at all? They are not on a cooldown. No. <laughs> it is it is it is the fight to the fittest. Basically, my hope is that at one point um it will queue up instead. Although I guess cooldowns could work, but I do like the idea of the kind of just fighting to see who, which Baxter it shall be. I have the list up in the Doodle of Goose area in the Discord too. Oh my God, bless you. <laughs> it's stressing me out. All right, I'm going to duplicate this for this side. There is... Welcome in Star. There's lots of news. So there is a Doodle Goose area on the Discord um, where I'll be posting the art at the end of the month, which we've done all those monthly monthly geese. I feel like I can't talk today. I feel like I'm stuttering a lot. Oh no. Rolling low numbers. Our DM last night, my boyfriend, was rolling so high. It was it was I'm actually shocked we lived last night. It was really rough. I am a goose now. Who needs Baxter? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the little goose. I was kind of stressed. I wasn't sure how it would turn out, uh, but I really, I quite like it. I gave it a, I think it had a blue bandana at first, or maybe it was green and the green screen was not happy at all. Also, I did my best to give the tongue. Oh, I'm back. They only last for a certain amount of time. Um, it's by Midgic the Noah, and he brought other YouTubers to play his scuffed game. That's awesome. That sounds super fun. All right. Then we have to do add text, show keyboard, E. Let's just do, yeah. Let me rasterize this. We'll go like that. And then we also want a crescent moon. So how I tend to do that is I draw a circle, perfect circle, and I fill it in. And then I duplicate the circle and I change the color. And then I resize the circle and I place it where I want, like that. And then I select that circle and then I erase there. <laughs> and then we've got our crescent moon. Yeah, I think I wanted to do it that way. I don't know why. Feels right. Okay. And then I will draw. I will draw little thingies here. Baxter is stinky. <laughs> I gotta go put my little crotch goblins down for a nap. I hope they na go down for a nap very good. One, the video is the party constantly sending one guy to the shadow realm nonstop, including one where they swap place to keep him in there. Oh my gosh. Sounds like they're having a rough time. Have a good rest of stream if I'm not able to join later. Thank you so much for stopping in, Taylor. It was nice to see you. I will be live for the next three days as well, as well as randomly throughout the weeks. Um, but my goal is to at least for sure do the schedule. Excuse me. I didn't. Oh, no. Go there. Go there. All right. And then let's grab our chain brush. And we'll attach them. He. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have a lavender soap emote courtesy of Fallen Morning, um, our lovely mod. 
I love it. It's so good. I feel like that chain's too thick. You want to know? What do you want to know? I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know. Are there strangers like me? Okay. There we go. And then erase as necessary. Um, as per usual, everyone, you are very welcome to ask me questions of why I did something or how I just did something. I can't give full tutorials here. Um, I do have to focus on the art itself and tutorials are for Patreon, but I'm very open to answering those questions as I go. Um, so don't be shy. It's a-okay. The Bax Bros change? Which, which Bax Bros? What about them? Is it because Evros is dead? What do you mean? I'm very sad. R.I.P. <laughs> Rip Ebros. Big sad. I really hope that he's really alive. Okay. There's no way he doesn't have unfinished business. I refuse to believe it. He left her behind. He has to have unfinished business. It's necessary. Okay. It's necessary. Let me just see here. I do have these half moons as well they're a bit chunkier maybe they'll work for down here maybe i'll switch this one and then a star yeah so he's like he's like possibly dead right now didn't you, didn't you know that didn't didn't you know if Ebros is dead, would Baxter even bring ever bring him back to life with her experience of being realived? There's no body. His soul was inside of Nox. There's there's no body for her to try and do that with, like with Gully. He's just not there. Nox can't reach him. Uh, Scry didn't reach him. It's all very sad. Yesterday I was watching a fan-made arcane storyboard and I was sobbing and finally thought of what to draw and remember the bedroom scene between Vi and Kate. They're so cute. I love them. I can't wait for the second season. I do hope we get quite a bit of them. They're my fave babies. Mm -hmm. Until we intertwine. So this is supposed to be like a big bouquet. Um, so obviously this isn't going to be the exact thing, but it is the base. That's the goal anyways. Ebro's soul has been eaten. Eaten? What do you mean, eat it? I hope that it's just, you know, I don't know, floating in the cosmos, taking a break. I don't know. I'm scared, though. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> hot tiefling himbo soul i really hope that that is just the case i feel like it has to be something like he's just got to be you know floating in the cosmos somewhere because there's no way he doesn't have unfinished business like i i just i refuse to believe it i really do Let me see here. Nah, we'll do. We'll just do that, but we'll do it smaller. Let's 
something like that. Okay, I think we're good for color. Ah, I'm nervous. It looks so odd at this stage. We have an hour and 10 minutes left of stream, everybody. What's everybody's plans for the rest of the day? What are you up to? What's good? I hope the colors work together. I'm a little nervous. That's why I was nervous to do Baxter originally and why I did a poll. Because I was worried that like her blue would look odd. So I'm hoping I can make this work. I gotta make dinner, then I stream later tonight. Ooh, that's exciting. What are you streaming? Doing a lethal company animation with Tom and Jerry audio after drawing my OC. That sounds exciting. Which OC are you drawing? What are they like? Oh, I forgot to draw the thingy that goes there. I'll do it later. I'm going to try doing some arts and eventually have a nap. That is fair. What art are you working on today? Working on my newer D&D character. Give him a... <gasps> Is this the one for the, the new one? Which new one? Which character? I'm actually streaming Dragon Age 2. We are finishing Act 1 today. Yo, congrats. That's awesome. Feel free to share your Twitch stream uh, like you're at in the chat. Um, I guess people could also just click your name, but feel free to also share your link in the chat. Totally okay by me. I hope people can come hang out with you later. We'll watch some Dragon Age. I'm going to my in-laws after, which is why the stream was earlier today than I wished for it to be. Thank you so much, Fallen, for giving Keldara a shout out. Check out Keldara for some dragon aging. Oh, why is there an API error? I have to figure out <laughs> what is happening. Two sad immortal ladies sleeping together like the Vi and Kate scene with their arms covered due to bad memories. Oh, sounds like a beautiful and sad piece. Your Twitch is just refusing to play? Lower the quality. Lower the quality of the stream. Press the little gear icon and lower the quality. I used to have that issue a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to lower the quality. If you did not hear that the first five times I said it. But it's possible because if your stream's not playing, maybe you haven't heard me at all, Star. Maybe you've heard nothing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they can hear you. That's a solid point, but I can hope and I can pray. <laughs> okay, we got that. Last night I met Veronica. It was, it's not me? What do you mean it's not you? No, 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 no. Just lower the quality on your Twitch stream while you're watching. It should help. In theory, it should help. Because that's a common issue if it's not playing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I was going to work on the emote of Finn. I also need to shake down others of what emote as Mira and Ronan would have. Yes, definitely message. You'll have to, you'll have to bug him a bit. Or maybe next time we play, we'll just like ask them during game. <laughs> 
just bring it up like during a break be like so those emotes okay we'll go like that thank you so much eddie welcome in welcome welcome is it working now did you lower the quality star did that help I hope it helped. <laughs> Last night I met Veronica. Yeah, you had to lower and refresh. Makes sense. Anyways, the two immortals are best friends to enemies and to lovers, repairing their relationships after sad arcs due to being immortal. Immortal will do that to you. You always hear people being like, oh, I want to be immortal. Oh, that'd be so great. But it's like, that's a long time. That's a lot. And what about your loved ones? Now, I think I could handle being immortal if B was also immortal. But I don't think I could handle it otherwise. Twitch, I can't go any lower. Just get Justin to randomly pause and I hold you guys at table pen point until I get my answers. Pen point. Yes, that's exactly what you need to do. That sounds perfect. Hopefully we get to play this Friday and uh, you can, you can, you can uh, get your answers. If they don't message on Discord. Hmm. Kind of cool and kind of not. Okay. Thank you. I'm excited to finish off that commission. It's been it's been on my plate for a while and I haven't had time to do it. Ooh. I would never want to be an immortal. It sounds exhausting. It sounds lonely, you know? I can handle being immortal if I couldn't die from sickness and I had a little more advantageous qualities than the normal human. You mean like being able to drink coffee and stuff so your tummy doesn't get upsetty spaghetti? I agree. I understand that. I would also not want to be allergic to things. That would be great for me. With you, with you, with you. <laughs> yes. I got you, Star. I know what you're saying. I wish that for you too. I wish that happens in like your normal life as well. Your body's just randomly like, ha, huh, you know what? We can do this. You ain't a coffee person? That's okay. What is everyone's favorite thing to drink? I love coffee, but I also really like um, <clears throat> monster energy drinks. Don't judge me. I'd love to be sponsored by them. Um, I love, I love monsters. <laughs> I want a functional body. That would be effective. That would be good. I want that for you too. Your body needs to be kinder to you so you can eat and drink the things you want to. Okay. I'm remembering this one old Greek myth about a couple who, when offered a wish by Zeus, opted not for godhood, for wealth, for anything other than to die at the same time. Their wish was granted, and when their time came, they turned into intertwining trees. You're going to make me cry. Um, if I had to explain how I feel about B and if we could do that, that would be it. That would 100% be it. I'd also be down to just live forever. Um, that would also be good. But if that's not possible, I would select that. <laughs> I love teas. I'm drinking a Shadowfell tea from the brand D&T. Ooh, I've never heard of that. D&T. That's amazing. I'll have to change. I used to drink soft drinks nonstop, but water is slowly taking over. Water is so good, you guys. I cannot explain to you how much drinking water actually freaking helps. When I had my surgery, I drank so much water because it was jaw surgery. Yo, my skin was the best it has ever freaking been. It was so good. Drink your water, you guys. Caldara, we are one in the same. It is all about coffee over here. Coffee and water. And then I only drink energy drinks now. Um, also, you just missed a baby picture of Baxter. I love her. Um, 
I only drink Monster Energy drinks now during D and D. Usually, sometimes on like a game night, like non D and D. The right tasting water just hits. Yes, that's so true. Wait, I totally missed that message. I, I love me a good coffee, but I will destroy a good smoothie. I, I get it. Proceeds to drink water. Yes. You can hear, I don't know why my water is so loud when I drink it. It's like so aggressive. Here's the interesting thing. The ancient Greeks had a guy who wished to live forever, but he ended up shriveling into a cricket because he kept aging. <laughs> what? What? He ate, had a guy who wished to live forever. He ended up shriveling into a cricket. So the cricket is just the old guy from Greece. I understand now. I had to buy a new water bottle because my other one was too small. I have a... Is it a 64 ounce, I think, or 62? I'm not sure. It's pretty good. You want your water norm? Nope. You want your water warm? Um, that's actually not too shocking. Uh, warmer or room temperature water is way better for your digestive system than cold. I just love cold water, though. It feels so good. <laughs> All right, now we got jeans and her top. So the jeans are supposed to be like, like almost like a beigey pink, I think. Wait, where's my reference photo? No, they're pink, pink. They don't have to be. I might play around with the idea, but they're supposed to be pink. be having some wild times. <laughs> That's so true. I used to be such a big like Greek mythology fan. I don't remember as much, but like when I was in middle school, I remember that was like my passion. Like I had these like books of all of the lore and stuff. I don't remember much of it now. 62 ounce. It's a good, it's a good one. I have send star water bottles. I shared them in the discord once because they're really good and my stickers stick really well to them. I enjoy cold water, especially after a lot of movement. That is true, but it is actually really hard on your digestive system. On the rare occasion, especially if my stomach is empty and I drink ice water, like I get like a shot of pain in my stomach. What's PJO? What does that mean? Boobies on my head. Boobies on my head. Aw. <laughs> you know that feeling of when it's hot day and you have some nice... Oh, yeah. Do you know that feeling when you chug water like you're a like a like a child like have you heard children chug water it's like it's their last breath like it's just it's so loud and they're like breathing heavy the whole time oh my goodness children oh percy jackson books yes i was a big rick riordan fan in middle school that's probably why i got obsessed with greek mythology although i haven't read them since middle school i remember being obsessed with them has anybody been watching the new tv show <laughs> done unpacking oh nice i just have some miscellaneous stuff that i can wait that's so awesome congrats i hope your new uh your new place is treating you well the dramatic gas for air yeah you're waiting for it all to be out that's fair that's fair okay so no spoilers then because fallen hasn't been watching it yet i will say i do feel and hope that the acting improves over the amount of time it's not that it's horrible it's just that sometimes it feels like they're acting and not the characters. Like there's not enough passion in it, I guess is the best way to put it. So I do hope that improves because I know that sometimes happens, especially in the beginning of TV shows. So keeping my fingers crossed. I kind of want these to be white, I think, instead. And then the top pink is what I'm thinking. It's on Disney. That's correct. The reason my OCs were immortal is because one of them has an adopted brother who's also an immortal because he was a victim of an eldritch god ritual. And years later, an accident happened and her soul was transferred to her brother's blessed doll. And her brother's a tall skeleton? That's wild, Speak. That's so wild. Also, I'm really sorry about the glitching. I know I keep mentioning it. Maybe you guys don't notice it, but I notice it and it's driving me nuts. So I'll have to look into that. I'll add it to my list of to-dos. 
I've got the fix the lurk, which I don't think I actually need to do. I think I'm wrong, but I did fix events. Uh, fix reflector. Star, have you thought of a goose yet, my friend? Should I draw my character in a new cell shaded way that has softer touch and more line work or have it in a little more softly rendered like usual? Well, it depends. What do you prefer doing? What do you like doing? I'd love your artwork, but if you want to experiment, I think it's uh, always fun and it can also help your creative brain. So it really depends on what you're vibing with. I've been listening to the audiobooks lately as something for when I'm arting. Ooh, I haven't read them in so long. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll, I'll read sometime soon. Who's hyped for Dune Part 2? I actually never saw Part 1. I remember wanting to, but I just don't have the time. It's a big movie. But I, I do love Zendaya, so I know I wanted to watch it. <laughs> Dravithia and, Har and Harnev are immortal because they exchanged hearts, so neither can die as long as they... <gasps> Oh my god, that's so cute. I love that. Neither can die while the other lives. Oh my gosh. I love that. I've been trying something new to do because I don't like my overly rendered works anymore. They take too long and it's exhausting and I can't keep doing it. I think that's a super fair reason. Then yeah, I say experiment. Have some fun. Have some fun this week. No. <laughs> Song in my head. The OST. What is OST? Teach me teach me the words of the internet oh original soundtrack thank you bless you um, I don't doubt it. Soundtracks are some of the best music out there. It's so good. Over and over again. I think I'm going to put this underneath. And then do like a lighter pink for the ribbon. And their body uses blood as fuel for power, and it's a vessel to trap souls. And even if they don't like it, which is the brother's fate when the elder god possessed him to kill their parties and ended up fighting each other until the skeleton lets <gasps> and their souls are proud of the elder god and takes his position. Oh my gosh. That is an intense story speak. Wow, wow, wow. Are those D&D &D characters or are these story characters? There's some 90s anime style I like that I kind of want to play with, but with more realistic shapes and proportions. Hell yeah. Then I say do it. <gasps> Boobies on my head. Boobies on my head. <laughs> New favorite moment in stream is, is when that happens. Because I just love that for me. Neom. I do agree with this. Less can definitely be more. story characters well that is incredible thank you so much for sharing that with us if you are interested we do have a writing section in the discord i don't know if you've been posting that already if you have please ignore me um i'm very bad at discord <laughs> i'm trying to get better but we do have um, a writing section and a monthly writing challenge it's technically like more of like a prompt but it's really fun they're basically cracked up warlock <laughs> that's amazing phenomenal magnificent i do a lot of less trust me Star, your artwork is so detailed. What do you mean? I mean, there's nothing wrong with detail. Trust me, I love me some detail. I'm just saying, you have very detailed artwork, but in like the best way. I've also been trying to simplify my style though, so I totally understand what you're saying. Just finding out what works best for you and like, for example, the chibis. I way prefer these like flat, lesser detailed chibis over the highly detailed chibis. 
I just think they're they're a lot cuter. All right, we've got a cute little a cute little bow. These go dark. We'll fill in her eyebrows. Oh no! Rip the internet. Oh no. All right, let's fill in these bushy brows. Every time I see you. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. What did you call it? On the head. Amazing. I hope y'all like the new art reel too. I do like that it's bigger and more pronounced. I'm a little less shy, I think, to work on like the beginning stages of art when I think it looks um, bad. <laughs> it wouldn't let you put boobies? How dare. Just kidding. I get it. <laughs> we know. Anybody who watches knows. I love her big bushy brows. She's so cute. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I like to use this like airbrush in the eyebrows and then erase to give it a more natural look. I just like how it looks a lot better. I used to go a lot like harder on the eyebrows, if you will. And I prefer this soft look. Depends on the character. If the character would like literally draw on their eyebrows, it would be different. But Baxter does not do that. She just has big old bushy brows. Cutie. go like that we'll start by filling it in on the top all right so for the week, again, we are going to be working on these. These are going to be the Patreon print and sticker for February. By sticker, it is actually just going to be the flowers along with the little like moon and star charms on it. That's what the sticker is going to be. It's going to be a little bit of a simpler sticker. Um, and I'm really excited about it because I'm still going to draw it like I normally would. I'm not a fan of the stickers where I did like a whole different style. Um, so we're, that's what we're going to be doing this week. Um, and then off stream, I'm going to be working on commissions. It's not that I won't be streaming commissions. It's just will kind of depend on my mood. So it's never a guarantee, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. Please do not request that I draw yours on stream as well. Because again, it depends on my mood that day or how I'm feeling about what we're working on. So I will let you know if we're going to be working on them. I really do need to get these done though because they need to get ordered. And then I also have to ship out... Um, the prints and stickers for this week. I was going to do it before streams this week, but um, my fingers are all messed up and swollen. <laughs> so um, I have not done that because that would involve a lot of tedious work with my fingers and it would hurt. I actually haven't even been able to do the dishes, but you know what? I'm trucking along on the art and that's what matters. Um, one of their friends, a redeemed demon in a mortal world is the other immortal is the other immortal after the doll sister named Cherry tried to bring her brutally maimed body back. The demon Grace was furious and locked up in a torture room for Grace to get back at Cherry to the point Cherry became a masochist. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is intense, my guy. That is intense. Also, I will stretch and posture check. In fact, why don't we take this moment to take a quick break? Oh, that sounds so cute. I hope it's cute. I'm really excited about it. I, I am glad that we picked tulips because again, I definitely prefer tulips over roses. It just feels right. Um, I'm not a rose fan. 
Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to run to the washroom, make another coffee. So if everybody wants to make sure you are stretching and hydrated, I will return. So everyone, please be good. Listen to the mottos and make good choices. <laughs>
hello hello popping in um like 30 seconds early i hope that's okay <laughs> oh this is the wrong screen well hello then i'm just getting used to my new stream deck <laughs> thank you we'll go this screen yes this is the one we want so we have um math left um is it 35 we have 35 minutes left of streaming then why did why is my <laughs> how do i turn you off stop it i don't know why that timer showed up um we have about 35 minutes left of stream a 30 second delay that's okay nothing wrong with that that should be just fine a smidgen delay a small little baby delay We're going to try and get all these flats done. That is the goal today. Maybe even the background if we can fly through this. Do you believe in me? Do you believe in me? <laughs> As I'm popping in here, this is a friendly reminder. Hey, I have a Patreon. If you are interested in tutorials, if you're interested in getting early access to things, if you're interested in seeing lots of high quality work in progress shots and step by steps, please do check out the Patreon. It starts at only $3 for a whole month. Um, that gets you the monthly wallpaper. Um, and then the $5 tier gets you anything digital. So you get access to the tutorials, you get access to the whips, you get access to, um, oh gosh, what else? We do like a monthly like Patreon request for fan art, which is still up. The poll is not up yet. So there is a fan art request there. Um, yeah, so that's only $5 for an entire month. That's like one fancy coffee for the whole month. And it helps me a lot. Um, and then we do also have the mail clubs. If you're a Genshin fan, this month's theme is Layla. What else? I will be updating the shop. Hopefully next week there will be an update of the shop as well as a sale. Um, this is to help pay for bills this month. Um, it's it's not looking good, my friends. So I will be opening up, or not opening up, but updating the shop as well as opening up some emergency commissions. If anybody is interested, the prices have been lowered in 2024 to try and keep up with the climate with AI art. So if you are interested, please do check it out. Now will be the time, uh, especially with emergency commissions, because you do get a deal. You get 30% off as a Patreon, 10% off as a non-Patreon. And um, as long as you pay up front, you get that deal. So it's technically open now like if someone's like hey do you have those slots i will um open them now they're just not announced i'm just mentioning them here and if you're a genshin fan you can join me every month and try to get more genshin fan arts to win the polls yes i do have some friends that uh we're very excited about getting some genshin stuff <laughs> i'm excited to ship them out the layla uh print is honestly one of my favorite prints when it comes to like color and stuff it's so pretty i'm really happy with how it turned out go like this i hope everybody's having a good day so far i'm excited to be getting stuff done i had gotten the stream like all prepared last week and then i and then i couldn't stream right away because i had other things that i needed to do and i was so sad about it because i'd worked so hard on getting it set up so I hope everybody's enjoying the stream so far and likes the new updates. Hopefully it's a good 2024. If I wasn't getting a special commission already, I would. That is very, very fair. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Star, we're going to be working on your commission soon. I have to finish off the um, mirror one that I posted in the Patreon whips. And then also I have one for uh, Fallen Morning of his wonderful character Val. Thank you. Me too. I It's not that I didn't like the Baxter theme. Um, and that's obviously why I still have Baxter as the mascot. And we still have the the pull. Like her tarot cards are still a thing. Um, but uh, I, I, I was sad to not have like the Hey Liz theme. You know, it didn't feel right. That's a big story speak. Like I said, feel free to post it in the writing section on the on the discord don't you love when we just torture our ocs <laughs> it's fun to watch them grow from their trauma it's so beautiful 
Oh no. Man, that sounds very intense, Speak. Go like this. Charging our seas is second only to making all their wishes come true. That is incredibly correct, Eddie. That's a very good way to put it. I love that. Blame Arcane for these intense stories. I love that, though. Arcane is amazing. I can't wait for the second season. No spoilers if you've watched the trailer. If you don't know me, I actually hate trailers. I don't want to know. If I already know that I'm going to take the time to watch something, don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear it. I want to watch it. Do you remember, like... DVDs, obviously, I know that y'all remember DVDs. So you know how menu screens, sometimes they had like spoilers on it? <gasps> I hate that. I hate that so much, y'all. That was one of my biggest pet peeves is when they had like all these spoilers in the menu screen. Oh my gosh, just makes me so sad since I avoid spoilers so much just to open up the menu screen and it's just full of them. If your Twitch is lagging, please remember just turn down the quality in which you are watching it. You can do that by pressing the little gear icon, or you should be able to do that, in theory. Here we go. We're going to get this done, I believe. I have to go to my in-laws at 4.30. So that's why stream ends at four. We've got a half an hour left of stream. We got this. I believe in us. Reloading helped. Okay. If you need to, just lower the quality in which you are watching it. It should help so that doesn't happen at all. A boot in the bum. <laughs> oh, actually, I want to... I love making hair look like it's genuinely sitting on, like, the shoulders. Her hair is very big here. <laughs> oh my god, I have to sneeze. No! I don't have time for this. Let go. Go. I'm glad I've gotten into the habit of listening to music as well when I'm drawing because it does make streaming more often, I think, easier. Especially if I'm not using cam because, like, I could also just zone out and draw. And just chill if nobody's chit-chatting too much and stuff. I have a lot of goals for 2024. And one of them is to just stream like a, like a fuck ton. That's the goal. <laughs> Anyways, I got Rick rolled today because I wasn't thinking. What? What do you mean? What happened? Um, I'm just going to turn off the shirt for a second um, because I'm hoping that the bottom part will be like kind of, what's it called? Maybe a bit see-through or lace so it'll have holes in it. Have not fully decided. Let's go like that. Um, I'm going to actually bring this above the hair. I think that should be okay. Yeah, in theory, that should be fine. That looks so silly without finishing the hair. Sheer, yes. God just sent a link that said Amazon Prime Mighty Nine teaser, and I thought it was an animation teaser, but it was just a speculation video. Oh, that sucks. 
the Rickroll dance in an iPad. That's awesome. Have you guys seen that Josh Hutcherson meme? Hutchinson? Hutcherson? I can't remember which. Has anybody seen that? Because it's so funny to me. Like, the internet is so random. Like, it's wild. I just, I don't know. I love stuff like that. Like, even though, sure, maybe you don't find it that funny, the idea that the internet just bands together and does this ridiculous stuff is so funny to me. It's the same thing as Rickroll, really. But so good. Hilarious. I will erase the stuff that's on the skin after. Okay, and then I'll just select this and erase. Okay. Like so, oh, we did not finish the bobble. All these colors is gonna be wild. I hope it turns out. I hope it looks good. I was kind of debating on doing Kaz for the Valentine's Day piece, but again, I thought I'd let you guys vote because she has like hot pink eyes. And I thought that'd be fun, but I've also never drawn her except for that one time. So I definitely would like to draw her more because that campaign has up, up and up and started again, which is great. To see them devolve into body. The Thing movies. Oh, my gosh. I've never watched those. That's cool. I really love drawing like stuff that you wouldn't normally see me draw. Like I love doodling like monsters and stuff. Um, I never do them on stream or for anybody, just just for me. But I remember I used to doodle them all the time. Um, there was like a like paper on the desk. I'm not sure. Now it's running again. More art of her might be inevitable because it's like the brain worms of D and D game. That is very true. Very, very true. It is every second Wednesday, though. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but maybe it'll be less common than the every week ones. We'll see. That's actually probably not true at all. <laughs> Let's be real. This is me we're talking about. Okay, so we're into coloring the other stuff now. We gotta somehow make gold work. <laughs> There's also rings I'll have to draw. <gasps> Thank you, Ellie, welcome in. We were just talking about Kaz. Is you too. Heart into <laughs> I love a good Kaz. I also love a good Kaz. I keep thinking I should do more art of other characters, and I blink and I've drawn Val again. That's me with Baxter. Absolutely. Grace of space and chill. What? Please be careful. Please be mindful. This stuff does not bother me, but there could be people in the chat that that does trigger speak. So I will have you just not mention that stuff in stream. It doesn't bother me at all, but uh, maybe keep it to the Discord writing section just in case and keep it as a trigger warning. Um, I think that's really sick though, but be mindful of other people who don't like that kind of stuff. 
I do. I think horror stuff is really cool. I love horror movies. I actually watch them like quite a lot. I was talking about horror movies with my nephew last night because he's been having some troubles resting because he keeps wanting to watch horror movies and then gets upset that he's watched a horror movie. <laughs> so I feel that. Oh, the same sweet place. You're such a big baby. Like, like a, by big baby, do you mean like you're a big baby because you love them so much or like big baby because you get scared? Which kind of big baby are we talking about? <laughs> okay, I want to do red tulips to try and fit red in here more. And then there's also going to be red, um, what's it called? Might have to change the top color on that note. Because, like, adding in a pink might be a bit odd. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, let's let's finish what we're doing here, and then we'll, we'll mess with it. Let's grab all of the stems. Again, this is just the base, but we want to kind of see how it's going to, going to look. And then I'll have to unselect that back one. So remove. Remove. Hold on. Oh. Where is it? You love I love horror movies. Um without giving any spoilers or saying anything triggering, what is everybody's favorite scary movie? Um reference intended. I don't, you get scared. To be fair, I don't get scared by the actual movie. I get scared because my brain is fucking evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. But I, I like nightmares and stuff. Unless it's a nightmare about, um, like, B. <laughs> I like nightmares. Tells my dad how, to, oh. Yeah, my nephew is definitely having some troubles. He loves scary movies, but he has a hard time sleeping after them, which is obviously not very effective way of existing. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out what's a, uh... well, I'm not trying to figure out. I'm not mom, but we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Also, that image of Winnie being held is so cute. Thank you. I really want to do more stuff like that with my OCs. I really like the style. Yeah, I want to do it so much more. I love it so much. It was so much fun, and I feel like you could get so much personality into it, too, which was great. Um, This is what I want. I need, like, an orangey tone. It's probably going to be that one. Okay, so I don't think the pink is going to work. It's a lot of pink for something that's already very red and blue. So maybe we will just do like a red. She does look good in red. We all know this. Cough, cough, Laverin. I want to draw Laverin so bad. I just don't have the time. I don't know if it counts as scary or horror movie, but I really enjoyed The Witch. Okay, okay. First two aliens, The Thing, old one, and the first Predator movie. Nice. I actually really like As Above, So Below. Did anybody watch that movie? I really liked it. You do love watching horror games? I would love to play horror games, like, on stream. I think it'd be really fun. Ugh, Laverin. I love them so much, you guys. Is the pink really that bad? Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'm overthinking the pink. Maybe if we do like the pastel-y pink, it won't be that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. Play Slay the Princess? Ooh, is that a horror game? Feel free to send me a link on Discord, Eddie. Lavender was trying? Wait, what do you mean trying? What did I miss? What did I say, Ellie? I'm so forgetful. What did I say? What do you mean trying? What do you mean? What do you mean? Amron was so 
guilty last session. Like she was so, so guilty. She didn't even bother trying to see if Brynry or, um, why am I blanking, Karina could help them. She didn't even bother. She would have give up, given up her soul. It was all her fault. I think which counts as psychological horror, so I'd say. Smile. Speaking of, that, that was a good scary movie. Fallen Morning called her out. Wait, 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 wait. Where? Lavender with her two brain cells? Oh, yes. So, okay. So, basically, long story short, Amran and her party were in a dungeon called the Nameless Dungeon. Um, and you can't teleport there because, you know, it's cursed. Uh, you have to go in by foot. And uh, Amran thought she was going to die. So, she used her necklace, which is basically just... It just... They can talk mind to mind, her and her girlfriend. And Amryn, for the first time in her life, uh, said, I love you. And because she thought she was going to die. Um, and then Lavender, Lavender teleported in and her brain started to turn to mush. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's what happened. It was so sad and stressful, but like in the best way. I love good, sad, stressful games. And then they had a cute little recuperation episode. So yeah, <laughs> that's last session. Amnesia the Bunker is also a great horror game. I've heard a lot of good things about Amnesia. Can't forget this. Lavender sat on the bed trying to regenerate brain cells and her girlfriend casually bending over to draw a bath. Oh, yes, this is true. Lucas, I forgot you were actually at the game. <laughs> yes, that did indeed happen. Um, Amarin's got a booty. It's good. She's a curvy lady. Good times. Good times. Um, Let me pull up my reference photos here. Oh my gosh, we have 10 minutes left of stream. One second. All right. Um, Where are you, reference photo? So again, she's going to have like little red hearts um, all over her pants, like a pattern. Not like that, but it'll look better. But that's the plan. It'll be an actual pattern, not whatever the fudge this is. Not a pattern. Or hearts, even. But that's it. That's the plan. Lav was just like, my sexy girlfriend is bending over? Excuse me? And I'm not present? <laughs> Poor Amron was too stunned to speak when Lavender started preparing for her bath the day before, but she had no brain cells. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so really quickly here, this goes up here, and then this back here, again, very red, but we're going to kind of lower the opacity, and then I'm going to do some playing around with it, do a multiply and an add layer, going to make it darker at the bottom, we'll use a purple tone. A little bit of a lighter color at the top. Just a little, just a little bit. Okay. And then, and then, and then this is an add layer. Except for it's not going to look so wild on her. So basically the goal is, since I get so many layers, I can actually do flatten. So let me select this cut and paste um, will be like that. And then this one will be like a shadow. Okay, 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 okay. Are you following? Are you following? Let me fill that in. Turn it into a multiply layer. Don't know if I want it higher or lower. I feel like higher.
and then Now, I might play around with this, but this is the idea. I saw, like, a photo shoot of it, and I was like, this is so cute. I love it. So I wonder if I'll play around instead and turn it pink instead of red, and that'll kind of make it all come together. Yeah, it's a heart spotlight. Exactly. Girlfriend? New pass. Fans can be freaking awesome. What kind of game is it? I'll Google it. I'll Google it when I can. Don't worry about it. Um, let me just see here what it would look like if it was pink and so ooh, like a magenta. No, I think I think working with the red is a good idea. OK, awesome. I will check it out when I can. When I can. Now, in theory, if if it's not working with the light or with the dark color, we can always play around with it as well. But I kind of like the idea of like a dark room like this, but <laughs> Sad Disco. Oh, yes, I had forgotten about that, too. Thank you for the reminder. All right. <laughs> Luckily, uh, red and blue is actually very, very pretty together. But it's like trying to find this even between using the color pink. it's your bone. It'll definitely be interesting trying to uh, see if I can make this work. I feel like white on white is kind of weird. If you end up not liking the darker color, you could probably do like a pastel purple candy heart color. I'm trying to avoid extra colors is ultimately the goal here. Um, Saracel, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, so because we already have the blue and the gold and there's different shades of blue, then we also have the pink and the red. So I'm hoping to make the pink the right tone to make it all work together is the goal. Oh, cute emotes. Welcome in. Thank you. Red and blue, mostly because of the eyes. Okay, okay. I love red and blue together. That's why it's extra cute about about Ebros. We could also just do a blue top. Like, it has hearts on it. Um, could also do, like... I don't think a dark top works. I'm going to stick with the pink for now. And then we'll see. Maybe I can actually add in pink to this background yeah see we've already that's already helped so much it's like spotlights hi i met you at comic con i brought you izumi and katara print oh my gosh well welcome in welcome welcome Move over, Ebros, you're dead anyway. Baxter's mine for a date today. There is a, oh, oh, she is wearing her date outfit. Hello. So this outfit is actually a little bit adjusted from her real date outfit because that had spaghetti straps. Um, and the spaghetti strap broke as well. <laughs> See, it's just a matter of getting the colors to kind of all fit together. Um, another fun thing that we can do because it totally works with this romantic thing is bokeh lights. I do feel like bokeh lights have a time and a place because if you do it too much, it's, it's just, it's a lot. So you kind of, I just kind of like to do it lightly like that. Even lower it in opacity. There we go. Thank you for the lurk, Eddie. 
really love your art. Thank you so, so much. I'm very, very honored. I'm so glad. It's my whole life and my whole job, so that means so much. Um, on that note, you guys, it's five minutes to the end of stream. What? What? How did we get through a whole stream so quickly? Those lights are my passion. Pry them out of my cold, dead hands. I feel that. I understand. Um, so I am just going to fly on over here. So just for some a couple announcements here. I'll, actually, I'll leave the art on the screen. Let's throw up the process video that we have so far while I am talking. So I'm going to go through some quick announcements one more time. Very first one is if you are interested, I have a Patreon. A Patreon is literally my lifeblood. <laughs> it is the reason I'm able to exist and continue to be an artist without doing other work. So if you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, there's a lot of perks, including tutorials, first ass access assets, access to whips, uh, so work in progress photos, including high quality work in progress, step by step. Uh, stuff. You get access to polls. You, there's mail club. Um, so please be sure to check it out. It starts at $3. The next tier is $5. So I do have some very affordable tiers. And I, again, that's for access for a whole month. A whole month. Okay. A month. Wild. <laughs> um, please do check it out. Again, it's the reason I'm able to do what I do. Um, my next announcement is if you join as a sub as of today, um, it starts each month. Um, your first sub or your first gift sub, if you do not have a goose yet, you get to request a goose. And then every Friday, starting next Friday, we will be taking part in Doodle a Goose, um, which is we basically just spend a lot of time drawing some really random, stupid little geese. Um, and at the end of each month, I will post that picture in the Discord under the Doodle a Goose tab, which is available to Hey Subbies. Um, so if you are interested in that, be sure to sub and let me know what goose you want in time. Um, I will not be chasing people down. So if I do not hear from you during stream, um, then you will not get a goose. So be sure to do that during stream. Um, and then, or let, let, I don't know, do not know. Let's just say doing it during stream. Cause I don't want to be chasing anybody down. Um, if you're an artist, you have like 700 jobs. So please keep that in mind. You can also message Fallen, but um, if Fallen's not here, um, you can message him as well, but he is on a very different time zone and I'm very blessed to have him here today. Um, Starlight, um, you're like a friend, so you don't count. You can message me anytime, but if I don't hear from you, then you don't get one. Um, and then what else do we have to announce? We've got a whole new stream vibe going on. Um, which I'm really excited about. It is the Hey Liz one. You can also message Ellie um, and they may not respond to you, but they will get it to me. And we're making a list of it in uh, the Discord in the Doodle Goose section too. So you can see if that message has went through and has been verified. Um, what else? We have a monthly art and writing challenge in the Discord run by our wonderful mods, Fallen Morning and Bunny. Um, it's There's no prize. It's simply a prompt that you guys get to work together. So that way it's just inspiration to get stuff done that month. Uh, if you'd like to creatively, creatively um, the, uh, the world is kind of hard right now as an artist. So having that kind of creative... Um, jump start to each month I think is really nice. Um, Fallen, I don't remember what the challenges are this month, but do feel free to let people know in the chat. Um, I will be having an Etsy sale next week as well as Etsy update. Um, again, I really need to pay the bills this month. I have been on break trying to reset the stream. So unfortunately, um, it's not looking it's not looking good for me. So I will be offering some emergency commissions and having a big sale at the shop as well as an update. Um, that update will include any extra prints from Patreon uh, that are still left uh, from 2023. So do do keep a lookout if that's something you're interested in. Um, if you're interested in Patreon prints, the theme this month is Layla from Genshin Impact. So be sure to join the mail clubs there. And then I don't think I have any other more announcements. I'm sorry that was a lot. Thank you for being here. Now, before I bore you all to death, <laughs> no exceptions, I follow the rules. All right, all right. Um, let me see who else is streaming, see if any of my, my friends are streaming. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Pixie Powder Puff is live. Let's see. 
I do have a friend who's live as well, but they're not doing art. So we will try to, to raid other art streamers. It says Debbie is live, but it says there's zero viewers, which can't be true. So I don't know. Let me see. Da -da. Let me see. Let me see. What's Pixie working on today? I absolutely love their work. It's so, so nice. All right. So we are going to be raiding Pixie Powder Puff, if you don't know who that is. And if you don't know what a raid is, it, it's basically me sending my viewers off to another streamer. And it's helpful for my stream and helpful for theirs. It's basically just a big hype moment. Hey, I'm not streaming anymore, but my viewers are still looking for somebody to watch or just give some love to. So raids are lovely. Um, I love that they're a feature. So let's see. Pixie Powder Puff. Yes. So another announcement. Oh. Oh no, I do this every time. Every time I forget to do the raid message, you guys. Um, let me let me find this here. Raid, raid, boo. Hey, hey, hey Liz, raid. So if you want access to the emotes that are in the message I am about to send, be sure to sub. Um, I believe it's $5 for the month, I believe. I'm not sure what it is in, in the U.S. You also get channel points for raiding. Woo, also good. We love some channel points. Um, raid Pixie Powder Puff. All right. So if you are interested in knowing what my schedule is, I do post it on most social media, but I definitely post it on the Discord. So be sure to join the Discord, um, become part of the Hey Baby community, and my schedule is always posted there, and I always post it on Mondays, as well as updates and stuff. <laughs> Baxter does indeed love chat. Um, thank you for streaming. Thank you for being here. Um, I've admittedly had a really rough week, and this made it so much better. I'm so thankful for all of you. Please make sure to drink water wash your feet, make good choices, and I will see you um, hopefully tomorrow. I believe I stream at 5 p.m. CST, but you can get the actual schedule on the Discord. Bye, everybody.